What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I got a very controversial topic. Now, Freddie Roach, trainer of Manny Pacquiao, he's talking about the preparations for his fighter, Manny Pacquiao, and Mayweather, the big fight, May 2nd. Now, he spoke with USA Today. Shout out to USA Today. The link will be in the description. And he brought up the issue of Mayweather's troubled past with the allegations and the plea of domestic violence. So, I want to share some quotes and then I'm going to give you some basic thoughts that I have regarding the situation. So in the interview with USA Today, Freddie Roach is basically saying growing up as a kid in his household, his dad was abusive. He had a temper and the way he would handle or resolve those issues would be with his fist. He says he could recall his mother coming downstairs and she had two black eyes and he was like, damn, you're one tough motherfucker talking about it to his mom. And he was saying growing up. He really admired his dad who got him into boxing. You know what I mean? Father-son relationship. People have that bond. And he said he thought it was normal. Like this type of household, this was, I guess, the norm. That other people went through these types of, um, I guess, marital like quarrels or whatever you want to call it. Domestic violence. And he said it wasn't until later in life he realized that, hey, this is not the norm. You're not, you know what I mean? Domestic violence is not okay. And then he goes on to say... That Manny Pacquiao really just doesn't like Mayweather. He says he's fought with him all these fights. And Manny Pacquiao doesn't say anything good. He doesn't say anything bad about Floyd Mayweather. But occasionally he'll make some jokes and laugh. Mimic Floyd Mayweather. Um, and Freddie Roach is stating that he can tell that Pacquiao does not like Mayweather. And he also alludes and suggests that Manny Pacquiao, his motivation, I guess you could say, for this fight is Mayweather's domestic violence cases or, or situation. This is what Freddie Roach said. It is really hard to say these things in public, but I know Mayweather is a bad guy. I see the fight as good against evil, yes. I have even thought about bringing a couple of the Metro cops from Vegas in to tell many how many times Mayweather has been arrested and how bad of a guy he is. But I decided I can't go that far. He's already liked him. He already doesn't like him. I think we are okay. For the first time in my life with Manny Pacquiao, this is the first fighter he hasn't liked, and I can tell. So that's coming from Freddie Roach. Then he also was saying, Manny is really against domestic violence. It is a big issue maybe in the Philippines for him, and being a congressman, he can control some of that stuff. This is a big plus for me that Manny does not like the guy. I think the killer instinct is going to come back a lot faster. So I guess, like I said, I'm, I'm going to leave it to you guys. You guys can say your thoughts all i'll say is this me personally i think freddie roach he wasn't much as a fighter in terms of like his achievements and accolades i really and now he's sick and i'm not obviously making fun of his his illness with the parkinson's but what i'm saying is i really think that freddie roach is using manny pacquiao as kind of a conduit to vicariously live through manny pacquiao and his achievements because you know what i mean they're a team now they work together and the thing I don't like is Matt Pacquiao. He's a real nice guy. And if you notice, he's not big on trash talking, but you get a lot of stuff from Freddie Roach particularly. And it's like Manny Pacquiao is cool, calm, collected, this chill, laid back guy, wants to have a good time. And you know what I mean? Laugh, watch him on Jimmy Kimmel and stuff. He's always pretty much in a lighthearted mood and things like that. He's a person, so I'm sure he gets mad and stuff. But his overall demeanor isn't like Floyd Mayweather to trash talk. It's not like Roy Jones Jr. or Adrian Broner or Prince Nassim. He's not like an over-the-top type of showman or like a Freddie Roach who does a lot to promote the fights, always promises a knockout and stuff. So I would rather hear these things from Manny Pacquiao instead of Manny Pacquiao just being such... I think Manny Pacquiao is such a nice guy that he allows himself to be kind of a puppet in certain situations and he has people speaking on behalf of him. And that's the only thing I don't like because I think Freddie Roach takes that and he exploits that because he's a talker and he wants to vicariously live through Pacquiao. So he'll say all this stuff and he puts a lot of pressure on Manny Pacquiao to produce and to perform and to suggest like domestic violence is, is Pacquiao's motivation. I'm not sure that Pacquiao... I'm not saying he does like Mayweather because he probably doesn't like him, you know what I mean, based based on the buildup and especially early on when he was being accused of being on PEDS and Mayweather was calling him Puchiao and making Ustream videos and stuff like that. 
But what I am saying is something like this, when you're treading on the issue of domestic violence and, and like morality and, and ethics and stuff like that, I would rather hear Manny Pacquiao say that. If Manny Pacquiao says, um, I, I don't like Floyd because of domestic violence and this is my motivation, then I'm like, cool, because I know it's coming from him. When you come on to my channel, you hear ego's thoughts. You don't hear, you know what I mean? I'll read somebody else's quote and tell you this is what Sugar Ray Leonard thinks. This is what Freddie Roach thinks. But I'll tell you when, I, when I'm speaking on behalf of me, and I think Freddie Roach does a lot of speaking on behalf of Manny Pacquiao. And again, to my from my perspective, I think Manny Pacquiao allows himself to to kind of be a puppet where he'll play the background. It's kind of like being out with friends. Let's say you're at In-N-Out Burger and then one of your friends is, is staring with somebody else and then they start shit talking and then you get pulled into the fight. You're like, hey, damn, this didn't even have to escalate. I'm not even in the mood to fight or it's not even that serious. But based on somebody else talking, you 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 are forced in that situation or let's say let's say you're at a um at a movie or something with your girl and your girl starts talking shit to a, a big six foot seven dude and she's like my boyfriend will fuck you up now you she just she just put the the spotlight on you now you got to defend her honor and create a situation that didn't need to necessarily be there based on her temper or her like outburst if you will and i think Freddie Roach, for the most part, does that with Manny Pacquiao, and he he tries to be the voice of Pacquiao. Pacquiao speaks English, so let me hear Pacquiao say these things. That's all I'm going to say. As far as Floyd Mayweather, his trouble, I'm a human. You guys are human. I'm not God, so I'm not here to judge and say who's this. Obviously, I have opinions, but I don't know enough about the domestic violence case. I wasn't at the trial. I don't know the evidence pre presented. I don't know any of the the real detailed facts about what went on other than the, the end result was Mayweather being in jail. End result, there was a, some kind of plea deal worked out. But, I mean, if you know anything about the judicial system, a plea deal does not mean, mean you are or aren't guilty. Sometimes celebrities settle out of court because it's more money to drag it through court and to deal with certain things and, and the, the bad publicity so you'll just pay him off like, oh, they said they said I assaulted him. Not that I did assault him, but they're saying ego assaulted me and they're coming after me and it's going to stall up what I'm doing. Plus, it's going to take a lot of money and attorneys fees and lawyers and stuff. So some people create like these plea deals and, and settle out of courts and, and different things. So me again, I don't know. Maybe Floyd hit all of the kid or hit his wife in front of the kids and all the details. I don't know, so I'm not here to speculate. That's that's up to uh, God to judge Mayweather, and you know what I'm saying. If he he went to jail for it, for it, so if it is true, he paid his dues as far as that. Me personally, I don't condone domestic violence. I don't think that's right. I think that certain things shouldn't happen. Men, in general, by and large, are stronger than women. So it it takes a bigger man to to walk away and not put your hands and lay hands on a female. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say anything beyond that. It's, like I said, it's not my spot to judge Pacquiao, Mayweather. They both have skeletons in their closet, as do I. Pacquiao gambling. They said he was harboring a fugitive. Some political issues. Um, womanizing. He almost lost his marriage. Mayweather, they're saying he hit his kid or hit his wife in front of his kids. And this happened to different females. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know all the details. You guys let me know what you guys think. And I guess my closing argument is this. Freddie Roach, who had a show on HBO, I believe it was, documenting his life. Freddie Roach also had a brother with a Nazi tattoo. So, you know what I mean? Neo-Nazi white supremacists. Freddie Roach also in Macau, China, got kicked. That wasn't right on Alex Ariza's part. But he called one of Robert Garcia's um, like crew, a fucking Mexican. And he called Ellie Sekbeck a Jew or get this Jew out of here or something to that effect. I've talked to Ellie in person about this. And to this day, he has not received an apology. So before you condemn and point the finger, this is the only thing that I ask. Everybody wants to be like, oh, Mayweather's a bad guy. Pacquiao's a bad guy. Look in your own 
fucking backyard. You know what I'm saying? You just said earlier in the interview, your dad was abusive and he blacked your mom's eyes. My dad never did that, but George did. You know what I mean? Your brother's has a, a swastika on his chest or whatever. You called, use racial or derogatory like terms. So, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole good and evil and all that. Uh, you, you guys can miss me with that. Y'all can talk about it, but that's my thoughts. But the biggest thing that I gather from this is I want Pacquiao to say these things instead of Freddie Roach always trying to be the voice. You know what I mean? Because Pacquiao just lets people talk for him. He lets Conks and Freddie Roach and Bob Arum and all these people. Let me hear Pacquiao say this stuff. And that's all I'll say. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.